Have you ever heard someone say, we gotta forgive and forget? Well, that's great advice most of the time. But what if someone in your church is super not nice? Turns out, even churches aren't immune to yucky relationships. Studies show that tons of people deal with toxic situations, even within faith communities. You might be thinking, hold on a second, church is supposed to be a place of love and support, right? Absolutely, that's exactly why we need to have this conversation. We all deserve healthy relationships and sometimes, things can get twisted, especially when religion gets mixed in. Maybe someone uses the Bible to control you, like saying you have to do something you're not comfortable with making you feel guilty if you don't, or maybe they twist scripture to justify bad behavior like saying submit means letting someone walk all over you. Nope, the Bible is full of love, respect, and kindness, not being a jerk. And trust me, toxic relationships can really hurt. I've heard stories from people who felt isolated, confused, and even depressed because of someone in their church. That's definitely not what God wants. But here's the good news, you don't have to just put up with it. There are ways to deal with toxic relationships in a healthy, Christian way. First, it's important to set boundaries. Boundaries are like invisible fences that show people what behavior is okay and what isn't. For example, if someone keeps gossiping or being negative, you can politely say, hey, I'm not comfortable talking about this anymore. Another important step is open communication. Sometimes people don't even realize they're being hurtful. If you feel safe, you can try talking to them calmly and explaining how their actions affect you. Of course, if you don't feel safe or comfortable doing that, that's totally okay. Don't forget there are amazing people in your church who can help. Maybe even talking to a pastor or church counselor can help. They can offer support and guidance and maybe even help you navigate a conversation with the person who's been causing problems. Listen, I know this stuff can be tough. Maybe you're worried about causing drama or hurting someone's feelings. But remember, God wants you to be happy and healthy too. Taking care of yourself and setting boundaries isn't selfish. It's actually a way to show yourself some love. And here's the best part. There's a whole world of healthy Christian relationships out there waiting for you. These relationships are built on love, respect, and genuine support. Remember, a true friend in your faith community should lift you up, not bring you down. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Share your story in the comments below. And remember, you're not alone. Help is available and amazing people want to support you on your faith journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on building strong, healthy relationships in a faith community. Thank you for watching.